many people are still without power in our area? Well, the largest number in the dark right now, still in Northern Virginia, where crews are working around the clock to get things back to normal. It's a similar scene across Maryland, too, and our Rich Reeve is live in Chevy Chase with the work underway there tonight. Hey, Rich, I bet people are eager to get that power back on. Yeah, they sure are, uh, Kimberly. We've been telling you about the Singer family. Good news here. We just heard from this pep crew crew right here. Their power is back on. Now, this all began 48 hours ago when this huge tree landed in their backyard. It took out their power lines right here, but even worse, their natural gas generator right over here. Natural gas spewing everywhere. And these folks aren't the only ones with problems. The roar of a chainsaw as the cleanup begins in Kenny Singer's backyard. We heard the thump. We were just in complete shock. We didn't know what it was. That thump was this tree crashing down. Yeah, at 5 in the morning, we heard this loud bang. Pulling down with it power lines, severing his gas line, too. As it did hit our generator, and it, it, it broke the gas line, and that's why our generator wasn't working. So there was raw gas going into the air and things like that. Singer isn't alone. Tens of thousands of utility customers in the DMV remain without electricity. It's very frustrating because we're the always the last ones to get fixed. Barbara Cribball lives just blocks from where this Dominion crew was repairing lines. She's had no heat or hot water since 9 o'clock Friday morning. But I've been going back and forth getting propane to keep my... Icebox storm, my refrigerator going. Crickball, lucky enough to borrow a portable generator from her neighbor. Oh, Finally, some good weather. It turns out that neighbor, Paul Hogorian, a photographer at the Library of Congress, is quite the inventor, using a couple of car batteries and an inverter, a gizmo that allows you to generate AC voltage from DC power. But these are hardwired into specific circuits in the fuse box. So they'll turn on instantaneously, and you'll have instant uninterrupted power to Wi-Fi, computer, refrigerator. Now, as luck would have it, the Craig Boss got their power back on moments after we arrived. And check it out live right now. You can see at the Singer House that brand new line there, and you can see that small light there. They do have their power back on, but this is just one family, many, many others, still waiting for their electricity to be restored. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. Reeve, the good luck.